I know there are bigger goals still, yeah. still ahead, but how significant is winning the Coastal? It had been a while. Well, I'll tell you, winning the, the Coastal Division in this conference in baseball is a tremendous accomplishment. It's been a number of years since we've done that. It's uh, very, very difficult to do because everybody in this league, every school, every program cares about baseball and is invested in their baseball programs. And so uh, there's no gimme weekends. Every weekend's a grind. Anybody can win. And for us, to, from where we were two weeks ago, to come out on top in this division is a uh, huge accomplishment. And it speaks to these guys and um, you know the adjustments they made coming out of final exams and getting back to playing our best baseball that we played all year is, is impressive. And that's a significant accomplishment and we're extremely proud of, of doing that because it shows the body of work over, over 30 ball games. So um, it's been a number of years since that's happened and, and uh, we're, we're excited. And that has, I believe, repercussions, um, positive ones. Uh, that come from uh, you know the whole season that then lead to uh, making a difference when it comes to NCAA tournament play and your seeding and selection. I believe two of the wins in Atlanta were come from behind to yeah. do that on the road this late in the season. Does that tell you something about your team? Well, yeah, it, it shows what we did down at Georgia Tech for, to come from behind and, and win t uh, two of those ball games from behind is um, just the grit and the fight and determination from our guys. They know what's at stake and, and they stepped up. They stepped up uh, this last weekend against, I believe, a one of the best offensive clubs in our in our league in Georgia Tech. And, you know, we haven't won many come from behind victories this year. And a lot of times it's because most of the games certainly were ahead in the first three or four innings. And so uh, that was great to see. And it's great to see so many guys come out of the bullpen, pitch so well and kind of hold the game for us to give us a chance to come back. This year compared to last year when y'all kind of hit that late season slump, what yeah. do you think kind of made the difference with this year's team? Well, I, I'll tell you, every year is different in this league. Sometimes you uh, don't play well at the beginning of the ACC, sometimes in the middle and sometimes at the end. Last year it was at the end for us. Uh, uh, this year it was kind of in the middle and re, we regrouped and that speaks to you know, this team and, and how they, one, how talented they are, but also, you know, their ability to understand what takes this, what it takes for this team to win. And so um, they, they earned that. You know, we talked about starting to play playoff baseball two weeks ago and kind of a little bit our backs are against the wall, even though we were still you know, certainly an eight, eight, uh, NCAA tournament team and in a great position. They wanted to accomplish more. They wanted to have opportunities potentially to play in this ballpark uh, in the NCAA tournament. And I believe that they've earned that opportunity because of what they've done the last two weeks. What, uh, what kind of opportunity does this week present now? Well, I, I, I'll tell you, we're, we're excited about going down to the ACC tournament. I, you know, NCAA regionals and super regionals are hard to win. But I think this tournament might be even more challenging because you're going to have, you know, eight or nine teams that are going to be playing the ACC tournament this week that are deserving to play in the NCAA tournament next weekend. So uh, this tournament's a grind. You've got to essentially uh, win four games in a row uh, to win it for sure. And um, being the higher seed in our pool, you don't necessarily have to go 2-0. and It's a matter of who you beat. But um, it's, it's, this is a tough championship to win. Uh, we've won it a couple of times in the last 20 years, and uh, we're excited to go down to Durham and continue to play great playoff baseball. Do you have a message for the postseason for this team? You know, I actually don't have a message this week. Um, you know, we kind of started our messaging two weeks ago uh, with our team, and and uh, it was candidly it was their idea to uh, kind of switch our mode of thinking and playing uh, so-called playoff baseball, and and so with that. Um, you know, you can say that, but it's also how you adjust as a, managing the ball club with that kind of mentality. And you'll see two weeks ago we, we changed our pitching. It wasn't a matter of who pitched in our rotation. Uh, we basically made everybody available to pitch in every ball game and did whatever we had to do to win the game in front of us, even if we fell behind. And so that's how you manage when it becomes ACC tournament and beyond time. And we decided as a group to 
uh, play the game that way and manage the each individual game that same way. And you know, when you get the NCAA tournament, you know, you take each game. You don't worry about a series and hey, who do we need to have left on the mound on Sunday to win the series? Things like that. You just try to win the game in front of you and do everything you can to win the game in front of you. And uh, that's served us well. And our guys are, have responded to it. And. Uh, now we're getting into postseason play, and we've kind of had that feeling for a couple of weeks. Some of the best years we've had here at Virginia and ended up going to Omaha are kind of when we have had our backs against the wall and we've needed to prove ourselves a little bit. So hopefully that serves us well starting this week and then beyond. You've been around here long enough. You know, yeah. these spring, like, isn't the first spring where tennis and lacrosse are also you yeah. know, playing and compete for national championships? Is that a tangible thing like is that momentum that goes across from sport to sport well I you know I don't know how much the players play attention to to it I, I do pay attention to uh, very close attention to what the other programs in our department are doing and you know it uh, tennis winning a championship and you know the success in the other sports men's lacrosse and across the board um, certainly shows the depth and the strength of this athletic department. Listen, we have a lot of great coaches and a lot of great programs in this department, and I'm just elated to see men's tennis uh, win another national championship, men's lacrosse in the Final Four, and certainly it challenges you to kind of keep up um, with your peers. And, and um, you know, you, as a department, we can get some really great positive momentum from that. Two more home runs for Kyle Teal this yeah. past weekend. How have you seen him develop as a hitter this, this season? Hey, listen, uh, Kyle Teal, I believe, is one of the best players in college baseball. Uh, first and foremost, to see he catches every inning for us. I think he's caught every inning, but maybe four or five innings all year. And that's so rare in baseball. You know, a lot of times people give a catcher a day off and they DH him. Uh, he's ready to play every day. The energy he has, uh, what he's done to win the batting title in the ACC is incredibly impressive. Um, and we're just uh, so proud of him and, and fortunate that he's in our uniform. What's a Major League Baseball team going to get in Kyle Teal when they draft him? Well, Kyle Teal's an exceptional talent. He's one of the better uh, talented players that we've had in, in our 20 years here at Virginia. And, and uh, you know, he plays a position that's very, very demanding. He's incredibly athletic. I think he can play anywhere on the field, and certainly his hit skill is, is outstanding. So I believe that Kyle Teal is going to play this game for a long, long time. What are you most proud of? in terms of this season and, and does this team remind you of yeah. any other team you've um, you know, I, I tell you, we've certainly had a lot of great teams here. Every team is, is different. Um, you know, this, this ball club is certainly very, very offensive, certainly one of the better offensive teams that, that we have had. And what, what separates this team is they've really come ready to play every day. You know, in the in the sport of baseball, you're you're not going to win every game. We have 11 losses, um, you know, against what 44 wins, and and so you're going to lose some. But this team to do what they did in the middle of the week and go undefeated, and uh, the success we've had in ACC play, you know, you got to put this up there with um, some of the best teams that we've had, and and that's because they, they we have great leadership. And, um, you know, they just they don't give any a game away and they're ready to play every day. And that serves you well when it comes to championship time. Pitching wise, you talk yeah. about changing it up a little bit. Yeah. How much does that prepare you guys for now actually being in the postseason? Well, the changes we've made pitching wise is not because any pitcher has not been successful. And um, it's it's been more you know, put ourselves in a position to win every game. And you can kind of see the last couple of weeks we put Jack O'Connor in the uh, bullpen for us, and I think that's been a really bright spot. You know, he, on Sunday, I believe he won the game for us at Georgia Tech with the two shutout innings. He came in and pitched in the seventh and eighth. And those are the th kind of things you have to do in NCAA tournament time. We've done that many times before where Josh Spores has started for us, and then we've injected him in our bullpen. We've done this type of thing thing every year and every team does when it gets to this time of year and so I think that the changes that we have made pitching wise have have really strengthened our ball club and going to give us the best opportunity to be successful uh, at tournament time.